Ukraine may receive Gripen fighter jets after final F-16 deliveries. Ukraine may receive Swedish JAS-39 Gripen fighter jets after the delivery of F-16s is completed. Swedish Minister of Foreign Affairs Tobias Bilström shared this in an interview with the VOA Ukrainian service. Ukraine has now concluded that two models of the fighter jets, both F-16s and Gripens, are too many. Discussing the decision to pause the delivery of the JAS-39 Gripen to Ukraine, the Swedish official emphasized that it was Ukraine's decision. But this does not mean that Sweden is not open to continuing with Gripens if when the F-16 program is completed. Again, this is a matter for Ukraine, not the Swedish government. He reminded that Sweden still finds ways to improve the capabilities of Ukraine's armed resistance. Since we could not continue with the Gripens because of the F-16s coming in, we decided to provide Ukraine with other capabilities that Sweden has and we gave Ukraine ASC A90 surveillance systems. Answering a clarifying question about the possibility of supplying JAS-39 Gripen fighters in the future, he replied, it's just a practical question. You know the systems of the fighter jets are very complex and more NATO partners have F-16s than Gripen fighters. I would say that the F-16, which is now being introduced into the Ukrainian Air Force, will provide you with great and important capabilities. When that is realized, then we can start talking about Gripen air fighter jets. Both Sweden and the Swedish government have no restrictions on these discussions after the introduction of the F-16, but this decision was made by the Ukrainian government, not the Swedish government. According to Militani media outlet, in 2023, Ukrainian pilots completed introductory training on Gripen fighter jets. The training of Ukrainian military pilots comprised simulator training and practical flights on JAS-39 Gripen fighter jets. The possibility of transferring Swedish fighter jets was discussed after Sweden joined NATO and signed a collective security treaty. Russia neutralizes HIMARS missiles, but ATA CMS and Storm Shadow still pose big problems for Russians. Russia's success in electronically countering Western weapons poses a strategic challenge to the United States and its allies. The Russian military is constantly adapting using its vast electronic warfare capabilities, the Wall Street Journal reports. It is noted that, for example, American M982 Excalibur artillery shells worked wonders when they hit the battlefield in Ukraine in the summer of 2022. The GPS-guided munitions hit Russian tanks and artillery with surgical precision, but it did not last long. However, according to Ukrainian commanders, by mid-2023, Excalibur munitions had become virtually useless and are no longer used. A similar fate befell several other weapons that demonstrated the West's technological superiority. Russian interference has been particularly successful with Excalibur. Other precision-guided artillery rounds, such as the Bonus made in France and Sweden, have also been rendered less effective by Russian jamming, the publication says. Russian electronic countermeasures are also said to have significantly reduced the accuracy of the GMLRS munitions for the HIMARS, a weapon that Ukrainian military officials say turned the tide of the war in Ukraine's favor in the summer of 2022. The deviation varies with distance. That's a big problem for the M31 GMLRS missile with a unitary warhead, which was used with great success in 2022 to hit Russian bunkers, command centers, pontoons, weapons depots, and hardened equipment, the Wall Street Journal writes. It is noted that some other Western precision weapons provided only recently continue to hit important Russian targets. These are American-made ATA CMS ballistic missiles as well as Storm Shadow cruise missiles. But according to Ukrainian military and Western defense experts, it is only a matter of time before Russia learns to reduce the effectiveness and increase the level of interception of these missiles. We have to assume that adaption will always happen, and the Russians have adapted to a lot of things, said Rob Lee, a senior fellow at the Foreign Policy Research Institute. A U.S. defense official said the Pentagon is very aware of the evolving electronic warfare threat from Russia. 
He said the U.S. is working closely with Ukraine and defense industry partners to respond quickly to the threat and ensure that American precision weapons remain effective in a war.